So I am doing in a, a video on how to submit an assignment in focus. I want this to be a very specific process. I don't want everybody doing this different ways. It makes it, first of all, challenging for me to give feedback if you're just submitting um, a random picture. So this is the way I want you to do it. Uh, there's an assignment that you need to do. It's the makeup for assignment four. Most of you did not do assignment four, so here's your chance to do the makeup, and this is the way you need to submit it. So you're going to go to focus and get the assignment. Um, I've already loaded the worksheet. So if you look at the worksheet, it's got. I hate when it does this. If you look at the worksheet, where is it? Oh, shoot, I closed it. Um, where is it? Is this, um, there we go. Finally. All right. So this is the worksheet. When you download it, it has examples. It has a little lesson in it. So there's a bunch of examples. A um, bunch of examples down here. I think there's like six examples, maybe even. It gives you the steps to go through when you're doing the examples. There's example four, example five, six. So it looks, no, seven. So tons of examples. So you shouldn't have any issues. Then you get to the problem. So there's 40 problems. You do not have to do all 40 problems. I said pick the 10 easiest problems you want to do. So just to give you an example, Number one and two are pretty easy. Uh, they actually have some even easier ones than that. Number one, number two, number 13 is extremely easy. The variable Y is just equal to a number, ne negative six. So all you gotta do is plug negative six in and then do the math and solve for X. The final answer is gonna be a coordinate. It's gonna be an X comma Y coordinate. So you need to make sure you give me the final answer. But I'll go ahead and tell you this. The answers are already in the document. So here are all the answers right here. So you have the answers. So obviously I'm not grading you based on your answers because they're already there. I'm grading you based on the work that you show me. So you need to show all of your work. Don't just use photo math because I can tell when you do that because sometimes photo math does stuff differently than we do it. So I will know when you use photo math. Maybe not every time, but I can certainly figure it out. And if I can figure out that you use it on one problem, then I figure you probably use it on all of them. So here's another easy one, 21, 15. I uh, just saw, I thought another easy one somewhere. Um, a lot of them are not too bad. Anytime the variable is all by itself already in one of the equations, that's pretty easy to use substitution. Boy, I really thought I saw another easy one somewhere. Maybe not. So 10 of those problems, that's what you need to do. Again, the answers are already in there, so you should be able to do it and then see if you got the answer right and then go back and correct it. Uh, there are videos. Go to my YouTube and you're looking for solving a system of equations and it's system of equations, not inequalities. So systems of equations using substitution. There are four videos that go. I go through and walk you through the process. So I'm not going to also do it here. At least four, actually more than four. I think I did it in the live recorded session on um, April 16th. So now to actually submit it, once you do your work, you're gonna have a few pages probably if you do 10 problems, you need to take a picture of each page and then you're not done. You're going to take a Word document. So open up Microsoft Word. Hopefully you all know Microsoft Word. So here it is. <coughs> open up Microsoft Word. And then you're going to come in once you have Microsoft Word open. And you're going to insert and you can do this on a phone. I've downloaded the app. You need to download the Office app. I downloaded Office for Android. It has Excel, PowerPoint and Word all in that one app. So you need to download that. Uh, well, whichever way you're doing it, though, you need to insert a picture. And then you're going to go through and you're going to insert um, the Word document. I don't have a Word document right here. Where do I have a Word document? Here, maybe. Um, 
Oh, these are picture files. I want to insert. Oh, yours will be a picture file. What am I thinking? Because you're, you're taking a picture of it. It's not a Word file. You're saving it as a Word file. So insert a picture. I don't care what the picture is. Once you insert it, it'll place it in there. Now I can give you feedback right on your assignment in focus instead of me trying to try to type notes into focus, which you're probably not going to be able to figure out when you go back to try to match it up with your document. So go ahead, um, put it in Word, put all the pictures in there, then save the file as a Word document, call it the name of the assignment. So it's assignment for attempt two. So you would title this assignment for attempt two. You can put in there solving system of equations by graphing if you want. It doesn't matter to me. But that's how I want you to do it. If it's not submitted that way, then I will we'll probably still grade it, but you'll probably lose points because you're not following instructions. 